Hello, I'm Mr. Medier, principal here at Wald Lake Central High School. It's my pleasure today to talk with you about our upcoming curriculum fair. For those of you who do not know, curriculum fair is an awesome opportunity to help you plan for your classes next year. You see, Wald Lake Central has a lot of variety in our schedule. We have a large menu of courses that you can take during your four years here as a Viking. Some of those classes, like English 9 and Algebra 1, are graduation requirements. Other classes, like maybe choir or practical law, are elective courses that you can take based on your interests and your plans for the future. And some courses, such, of our, such as our advanced placement courses, can satisfy graduation requirements and can help you reach goals in your future career, college, and beyond. Curriculum Fair helps students understand what courses are available to them. Learn more about those courses, and then use that information to choose courses that will be best suited for their interests, abilities, and their future goals. Starting today, every Wald Lake Central student in grades 9, 10, and 11 should read the Wald Lake School's Program of Studies, which is our handbook that describes our graduation requirements and the courses available in our school. Then, using the Curriculum Fair Selection Sheet, you'll choose three elective courses to visit during Curriculum Fair Day. During the Curriculum Fair itself, you'll visit those courses for about 15 minutes each. Meet the teachers who may be teaching those courses next year, and find out what you'd learn and do in each of those courses. Then, you'll have all the information you'll need to choose your courses for next year. One more thing that all of our students should know. Most, but not all, of our Wald Lake Central students plan to attend a four-year university after high school. Students who want to go to a four-year university need to challenge themselves. And when it comes to challenging yourself, nothing's better than honors and advanced placement courses. While it may not be necessary for a student who is already taking three advanced placement courses to take four or five, that might be pushing it, any student who is seriously considering pursuing a college degree should take at least one AP course in their high school career. AP classes will challenge you, will help you learn what you love and possibly what you don't like at all, and these will help you understand what courses you'll want to take in college and maybe even what career you want to pursue. Wald Lake Central High School students are fortunate to have a wide variety of AP courses available to them including AP courses in Art, Computer Science, English, Mathematics, Science, Social Studies, and World Languages. You can also choose Honors classes to help you prepare even better for AP classes later in high school. Okay Vikings, that's enough of me talking. I'm excited for, a, for our curriculum fair, and you should be too. Please speak with your teachers, your counselor, or an administrator if you have any questions about your educational path the curriculum fair, or any courses here at Wild Lake Central. Thank you, and go Vikings! Hello, my name is Terrence Johnson, Counseling Department Chair here at Wild Lake Central High School. I'm looking forward to meeting all of you, all of my students, during this registration process. This year's registration process will be a little bit different from last year. Each one of you will have an opportunity to meet with your counselor one-on-one -on -one to discuss your course selections for next year. You will meet with your counselor through your grade level English class in the month of February and the beginning of March. Now, when you sit down with your counselor to discuss your classes for next year, you, you will also review your graduation progress and discuss if you have any classes that you need to retake and discuss college opportunities and career opportunities during that meeting. Now, Prior to meeting with your counselor, I'm going to ask that each one of you review the graduation requirements for the state of Michigan and Wall Lake School District. Those graduation requirements will be posted on your grade level Google Classroom. Now, something that I'll say before I get started with how registration will look this year, I just want to be very clear and just say whatever class you sign up for on your course selection card, is a full year commitment. Today you should have received a hard copy course selection card. That course selection card will be taken to each one of your teachers and your teachers should discuss the classes that you're going to take for next year 
and also sign on, sign off on the classes that you will take for next year as well. Okay? Now, when you sign up for classes next year, it's very important that you take classes that will challenge you academically. Ideally, the classes that you pick for next year will be classes that will help you prepare for your eventual career path. So it's very important to have a discussion with your teachers to make sure that you're challenging yourself and taking classes that you have an interest in. Now, <clears throat> it's extra important for you to discuss your course selections if you're planning on taking any AP or honors classes. Ideally, um, you and your teacher will agree on your course selection if you are taking an AP or honors class. Now, after you've spoken to your teacher, you've made your course selections on your course registration card, it's very important that you have a conversation with your parent regarding the classes that you signed up for next year. Next year, we do not anticipate that students will be able to make any schedule changes. So it's very important for me to emphasize that whatever class you're signing up for, that you understand that you are making a full year commitment. Now, after you've re reviewed your course selections with your parents, course registration is a two-step process. On your course regist registration card, it should, be, it should be filled in completely. At the very top of your registration card, you'll include all your demographic information, including an email address and phone number that we can use to contact you if we, have, if we have any questions regarding your course selections for next year. Your entire card that you see in front of you should be completed. Okay? Now, after you've completed your course selection card, it's very important to remember that registration is a two-step process. So after you've done your card, after that's all completed, you're not quite done yet. Registration is a two-step process. The courses that you indicated that you, that you wanted to take on your registration card, you will also have to input those course selections into Skyward. In front of you, you'll be able to see the instructions on how to put your classes into Skyward. Okay? Now these directions on how to enter your classes into Skyward will also be included in the packet that you received today and we'll post this on Google Classroom as well too. Now, if you're interested in any programs such as co-op, independent study, testing out, or dual enrollment for next year, you'll have an opportunity to talk to your counselor one-on-one -on -one about those programs. All those programs require applications, and definitely require a conversation with your counselor. So, in short, <clears throat> registration is a two-step process, your course registration card, and you must put your classes into Skyward. Last year, course registration, the process was entirely virtual, and we didn't have an opportunity to meet with our students one-on-one. -on -one. So, we're looking forward to meeting with all of you one-on-one, -on -one in your, through your English class to discuss next year and your life after high school. Thank you for your time and we look forward to meeting you very soon.